All right, remember this thing on Lake Coeur d'Alene? It was supposed to be all fun, but caused a bit of a controversy. The floating jungle gym named Hooligan Island put its owners and the city leaders at odds. So one year later, whatever came of it? Well, it turns out it's still on the lake, but its future appears to be murkier than the water it's floating on. Creme Juice Taylor Vito has more. All right, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm starting this story by walking down this trail. It's to get to what appears to be one of the only public access points where you can see Hooligan Island. There it is in the distance. It appears to be locked up and just kind of sitting in storage more or less right now. Its future is uncertain. On its Facebook page, the owners have said it's for sale. Last summer, they said it was vandalized at one point. Now many are wondering, hey, what's the deal? It was one year ago when the island appeared off of City Beach. The idea charged folks a little money to let them use the island of endless fun. But city leaders said the owners of Hooligan Island didn't have permission to do that. So we're a little bit surprised as the amount of, of pushback by all of Idaho laws we can be there. The island appeared a month later as the owners continued to work towards a proper business license. They were using this dock owned by North Idaho College to conduct business without permission and the school booted them. But a couple of months later, things seemed to be going well for the hooligan gang. They moved further offshore and told us they had plans to expand. When we got classified as a floating toy, we went ahead and complied again with the regulations and the rules that fell along with that. However, weeks later, the owners posted on Facebook that the 600 square foot island was for sale. So what's going on now? I reached out to the owners earlier today, but at this point, I'm still waiting for a call back. For now, it's being kept amongst what appear to be docks and boat covers in the middle of Cougar Bay. The Hooligan Island Facebook page is dormant, and summer thrill seekers wonder, will we ever see the hooligan again? In Coeur d'Alene, Taylor Vido, Crem 2 News.